The descent of Kanye West, aka Ye, into the living manifestation of Godwin's law, that, as an online discussion grows longer, regardless of topic or scope, the probability of a comparison to Nazis or Adolf Hitler approaches, has been predicted by many over the years. Notably, Bill Burr in 2017, who commented on the ego of Ye and implied it would eventuate to the extreme. Dude, you put that ego in a white dude that is in the Streisand! What's the Blitzkrieg? What's a superior race? And of course, one wouldn't expect to see Ye on an Alex Jones podcast making such intense inflammatory statements. But here we are at the tail end of 2022. The man has been covered several times by this channel given his consistent contributions to digital culture and pop culture at large. There are tons of memes surrounding his existence, as he is an incredibly popular musician. However, many argue his recent activities have demonstrated a falling out of favour with reality, and he has lost some of his biggest sponsors as a result of some very literal anti-Semitic viewpoints. It's clear Ye has felt disillusioned with the world for a long time, and given his ability to consistently come off as incendiary, his fanbase is struggling to support him. The phrase, but he made graduation, continues to swim around the internet as a reference to this fact, representing those who would defend his actions with the idea that he made a brilliant album way back in 2007. Separating art from an artist is a long-standing discussion, but it would appear people are finding it especially difficult to justify right now. Furthering these controversies is his second banning from Twitter this year for posting some seriously questionable stuff. Elon Musk personally contacted him to let him know that posting anti-Semitic imagery is not okay, especially after Ye's appearance on Alex Jones's podcast. Previously, people would laugh at Ye's antics, as they'd often come out as eccentric, like calling himself a god and trollish. However, it's pretty clear this just kept ramping up and up until it got to the point where anything he's saying is alienating both his own fan base and that of the international community. This brings to question, why do so many people care about what a celebrity has to say? Well, it's pretty clear what happens online greatly affects the offline world, as even the President of the United States made an indirect reference to Ye's online behaviour. Academic studies have long demonstrated demonstrated that social media has a huge impact on the drivers of everyday life. What people believe and political outcomes are now all driven by this utterly massive section of the internet, and the memes referencing Kanye's opinions and movements are all completely relevant here. In short, Kanye Made Graduation references a long-running debate on the authenticity of a man who clearly feels disillusioned with reality, with the hope that he will want to seek help clearly out of sight for now as he becomes the living embodiment of Godwin's law. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. I remember. Like and subscribe! <laughs>